The diplomatic rift between Germany and Ukraine appears to be healing as uh, Germany's foreign minister visits Kyiv. Annalena Baerbock is the first uh, cabinet minister to travel to Ukraine since Russia's invasion began in February. The Ukrainian government had criticised Germany for its initial reluctance to supply heavy weapons and for its uh, continued economic ties to Russia. But Berlin is now sending tanks and artillery and has dropped its opposition to an EU-led phase-out of Russian energy. Well, the foreign minister's visit comes a day after the president of the European Council witnessed the devastation of Russia's war at first hand as Odessa came under intense missile attack. More buildings reduced to rubble. The port city of Odessa after it was pounded by Russian missile strikes. The missile struck on the same day that European Council President Charles Michel visited Odessa. The EU official was forced to take shelter when air raid sirens went off. President Zelensky said Russia's assault makes clear its disdain for Europe. In his nightly address, he was hopeful that Ukraine was one step closer to EU membership. They're well aware that this war is not only for our freedom, but for the freedom of all Europeans. We expect to receive a positive response in June regarding Ukraine's application for EU candidate status. In the town of Mykolaiv, Ukrainian soldiers are regrouping after Russia's most recent attempt to capture the area. Ukraine will need more weapons to be able to fend off further attacks. People have been fighting for three months. And we're ready to go further because we need a victory. And we'll fight for it and complete any task to the end. But more resources are needed because if human resources run out, there'll be no one to fight for. So we need drones and we need artillery. Back in Odessa, firefighters and soldiers worked tirelessly through the night to put out a blaze at a shopping mall caused by several missile attacks. Ukrainian officials said Russia used new hypersonic missiles fired from a plane. So that's the situation around Odessa. DW correspondent Funny for Shark can tell us what's going on in the Ukrainian capital. Welcome, Funny. So what's happening there in Kyiv? Even though the situation is quite calm for now, there have been very, very regular air raid uh, sirens here over the past couple of days. And the conversations that people have over the coffee break, because some restaurants have reopened, supermarkets are open as well. You see how much the war is integrated in a way in the daily conversations, talking about whether is it possible that there's going to be a nuclear attack on Ukraine or asking themselves, so on which floor is your apartment? Do you think it's safe to sleep on that floor? So you realize how really this entire ongoing war this raging now for three months is taking a toll on people here mentally as everything is just so unpredictable and as we have just seen in that report once again civilian infrastructure has been hit in Odessa a, a, a shopping mall in fact a military spokesperson there uh, was taking an ironic uh, line uh, they're saying really is a, a, a shopping center extremely dangerous is it really necessary to hit that so people are not just fed up with the situation that they really don't understand why civilians are the target here of Russian forces, but also they grow uh, exhausted by the ongoing war, not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, am I going to wake up uh, the next day uh, without any shelling in the, in the residential building where I am? This is how people look at the war here in Kyiv. And now the German foreign minister is in uh, Kyiv after a couple of months of frosty relations between the two uh, countries. How significant is Annalena Baerbock's visit? It is very much significant given the fact that she's the first member of the German government who is visiting Kyiv today. But also given the uh, heightened alert that there is in Kyiv, we cannot tell that much of what she's going to do today simply to not jeopardize her security but also the security of the delegation what we can say her very first uh, stop was in butcher that place just about 30 kilometers here from the capital that gained sad notoriety for atrocities that have been committed there about 
400 dead bodies to be found in a way that just really just horrendous to describe, let alone uh, witnessing for the people who have um, uh, exhumed these people. And it's Russia that stands accused of these potential war crimes. Now, Baybuck, the foreign minister, made very clear during that visit in Bucha that there must be justice served, that this is, these are crimes that, uh, that need to be investigated because this could happen, quote, to any one of us. So it was very important for her, for her to show support there that Germany is standing on the side of Ukraine, even though there was some sort of a diplomatic role mildly put over the course of the past a couple of weeks as President Steinmeier, German President Steinmeier, was uninvited uh, recently. As a result, German Chancellor did not come to Ukraine yet, but that seems to have been sorted via a phone call between Steinmeier and Zelensky recently. So actually everybody expects that it's not going to be the last visit, that it's just the German foreign minister for now, but that, that also German government government in the light of uh, uh, German's uh, Chancellor Scholz is going to pay a visit here and by that show support for the Ukrainian people here on the ground in Ukraine. All right, thank you for that, uh, Fanny. Fanny for sure, uh, for sure in uh, Kiev.